Hello students. So here we are with the lecture 4 of some basic concepts of chemistry. So in this lecture we will be studying about Dalton's atomic theory. We all know Dalton's atomic theory from our lower classes. That all matter is consists of tiny indivisible particles called atom. So all matter is made up of tiny indivisible particles called atom. Atoms of given elements have identical properties including mass and atoms of different elements have different properties. Then compounds are formed when atoms are different elements combined in the fixed ratio. Okay. So we did the law of definite proportion. Then chemical reaction involves only the reorganization of atoms. It is nothing else that all the atoms are there but they are only reorganized and atoms can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. So all matter is composed of extremely small particles called atoms. Atoms of given elements are identical in size, mass, other properties while atoms of different elements are different in size, mass and other properties. Okay, clear? So now let's see atomic mass. Atomic mass as the name indicates mass of an atom. Atom is very small in size so it is very difficult to find out the mass of atom. So every element has a characteristic atomic mass and atomic mass is mass of an atom. So it's very very small. So how do you find out the mass? Mass we find out relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass by comparison of mass of one element with another element. So for that reason we have taken carbon as an element with which we will compare and the carbon mass is taken as 12 grams. Okay. So why we have chosen carbon? Because carbon is one of the most abundant element and it has got neither very high reactivity, neither very low reactivity. So it has got an average reactivity. So that is why we have chosen carbon as the element for relating at relative atomic mass. Now for example, the mass of one hydrogen atom is 1.6736 into 10 to the power of minus 24 gram. This is a very small quantity and not easy to measure. So what we will do? The atomic mass are generally expressed in what? AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass units. So atomic mass unit is defined as a mass exactly equal to 1 12th of carbon 12. So when I say 1 12 of carbon 12 and the mass of carbon 12 is taken as 12 AMU. So it comes out to be 1 AMU. So this is equivalent to how many grams? So 1 12th mass of 1 carbon 12 is how much? 1.992648 into 10 to the power of minus 23 gram. So if you multiply 1 by 12, if you take 1 by 12th of this gram weight, then it comes out to be 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams. So uh, AMU has been replaced by unified mass unit called delta. Symbol is U or DA. So U means unified mass. So mass of one atom of oxygen is 26.56896 into 20 to the power of minus 24 gram. What is the atomic mass of oxygen in U? That means unified mass. So mass of one atom of oxygen in grams is 26.56896, 20 to the power of minus 24 gram. And 1.66056 into 20 to the power of minus 24 grams is equal to 1 U. Okay. So how much will be? this mass. Okay. So we will have to divide to, to 26.56896 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams by 1.66056 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams. So this comes out to be 16 U. So 16 U. Similarly, we can calculate the mass of an atom of hydrogen that comes out to be 1.0080 U. So average atomic mass, many naturally occurring elements, they exist in the form of isotopes, more than one isotopes. So atoms of same elements having same atomic number but different atomic masses are called isotopes. So they have same atomic number but different atomic mass. So how do you find out their atomic masses then? So you, you have to find out the average of atomic masses of its isotopes. So this is called average atomic mass. Let's see how you calculate 
For example, here see carbon has got three isotopes with relative abundance and atomic masses are shown against each of them. So carbon 12 is atomic mass is 12, U and relative abundance percentage is 98.892%. Carbon 13 is 13.00335 and its relative abundance is 1.108%. And carbon 14 is 14.00317 and its abundance is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 10. So from this data, the average atomic mass of carbon can be calculated. So we have to multiply the atomic mass with the relative abundance and divide by 100. So this will give you the mass in unified unit that is 12.011. Then for practical purposes, the average atomic masses are rounded off to the whole number. So it differs from it by very small fraction like carbon. Its isotopes are carbon 12, 13, 14. Average atomic mass is 12.011, just now we calculated. So this rounds off to 12U. Then nitrogen is 14 and N15. Its average atomic mass is what? 14.007U and it is rounded off to 14U. Okay. Oxygen, its isotopes are oxygen 16, 17, 18. Its average atomic mass is 15.999U and it's rounded off to 16. Then chlorine is 6. six uh, chlorine 35 and 37 its average atomic mass is 35.453 u and rounded off to 35.5 u then bromine bromine 79 and bromine 81 other isotopes average atomic mass is 79.904 as rounded off to 79.9 u calculate the average atomic mass of neon using the following data so neon 20 neon 21 neon 22 are the three isotopes their masses are given and their abundances are given. So, the formula is atomic mass of 90 neon 20 into percentage plus atomic mass of neon 21 into percentage, atomic mass of neon 22 into percentage. This all divided by 100 gives you the value in U that is 20.1707. Clear? So, this is how you will calculate the average atomic mass. Now molecular mass. What is molecular mass? So molecular mass is the sum of average atomic masses of all the atoms of elements which constitute the molecule. So for example, we have to calculate the molecular mass of carbon dioxide. So it is the sum of atomic masses of carbon and oxygen. So 1 into average atomic mass of carbon plus 2 into average atomic mass of oxygen. So this comes out to be 1 into 12 plus 2 into 16 that comes out to be 44. So that's how you will calculate the molecular mass of the molecule. Then molecular mass of water, water, hydrogen mass, uh, average atomic mass of hydrogen and uh, uh, average atomic mass of oxygen. We all know the formula of water is what? H2O. So 2 into 1U plus 1 into 16U. This comes out to be 18U. Then average um, atomic masses of Various elements will add up to form the molecular mass. Now molecular mass of sulfuric acid, that is H2SO4. So molecular atomic mass of average atomic mass of hydrogen, average atomic mass of sulfur and average atomic mass of oxygen all add up gives you the molecular mass of H2SO4 that is 98U. Clear? Then HCl, HCl is average atomic mass of hydrogen plus average atomic mass of chlorine. So that comes out to be 36.5. So here in this problem, you have to find out the mass of one molecule of oxygen in AMU and in grams. So molecule, molecular mass of oxygen is what? 2 into 16. That is 32 U. Therefore, the mass of one molecule of oxygen in grams will be what? You have to multiply with 1.66056 into 20 to the power of minus 24 grams. So, this comes out to be 53.1379 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams. So, formula mass. Some substances such as sodium chloride, they do not contain discrete molecule as a constituent units. Instead, there are cationic entities and anionic entities present. So, sodium is a cationic part and anionic part is chloride. So, they are arranged in the three dimensional structure. So, NaCl is a formula used to represent sodium chloride though it is not a molecule. So, the term formula mass is used for such ionic compounds instead of molecular mass. 
so how do you calculate formula mass let's see uh, nacl and copper nitrate so formula mass of nacl is equal to the average atomic mass of sodium plus average atomic mass of chlorine so that comes out to be 23u plus 35.5u so that is 58.5u now for copper nitrate how you calculate for calculating the formula mass of copper nitrate it is average atomic mass of copper plus 2 into average atomic mass of nitrogen plus average atomic mass of three oxygens okay so this comes out to be 63.5 plus 2 into 14 plus 3 into 16 that comes out to be 187.5 u clear how to calculate the uh, formula mass so how to find the formula mass what did we learn write a correct formula of the compound then look up the atomic masses of each element from the periodic table in the compound and round it off to two decimal places then multiply the rounded atomic mass by the subscripts if any and add all masses of elements together and use the unit u or grams per mole thank you